Okay, hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. I have way too much energy right now, but today, there's a reason for it. I'm talking about VP Fashion. I have a lot of hair from them, and it's all... I can balance. Um, so all of my extensions from them are either I have their... I have their clip-ins, I have their ponytail, a few trial runs of things, so I have a lot of like practice items by them. I have these tape-ins now. So this is my very first time ever having tape-in extensions, and I actually already made a video that um, never got uploaded, but I have footage of me explaining the difference between clip-ins and tape-ins and the pros and cons, like basically just what they are and what tape-ins are. So I'm going to play that clip right now. Well, for those of you who don't know what a tape-in is, I have not made a video about tape-ins yet. So this is going to be my first time talking about them on my channel. But in my salon, we actually work with tape-ins more than anything else. I personally work with and wear clip-ins. I didn't prepare them. These are the tape-ins. You can see this is all one weft, technically. So this is the piece that you put underneath. Put a little section of hair on top of it. You put this right on top. There's adhesive in between and you squeeze it together and all lined up and perfect. This is a tape-in extension. They are all this size. They're all two inches wide. This is going to be better to wear six to eight weeks. You don't want to go over two months wearing these because as your hair grows out and as these might possibly slip or the adhesive might melt a little bit, the hair can get matted and gross um, if you don't fix the one that starts slipping right away. These are great for weddings, these are great for people who want to wear them all the time. You have to wash your hair with something a little bit drier and more clarifying because if you use too much silicone based products or oils, that adhesive is going to wear away. The first product that we would use to avoid that is a more temporary solution which would be clip-ins, and that is what you have probably seen me use on my channel. I'm going to take one of the single clip wefts. Typically, there'll be a three clip weft, a three clip weft, two four clip wefts, four single clip wefts. This is one of the single clip wefts. This is a little clip that clips onto the hair. You push that tight so it bends open and shut. You are typically taking this in and out daily. You're going to put it on in the morning, you're going to wear it all day, and you're going to take it off when you need to. Um, you don't wash your hair with these in. You don't sleep with them in like you would the tape-ins. But um, this is a temporary way of wearing extensions when you don't have to wear them all the time. So some people want one way or the other depending on their lifestyle. Typically when you're getting tape-ins, you're going to have a professional or a friend put them in for you. You can't really put them in yourself. You can try, it's not going to be that great, and if you have a lot of practice, it's still going to be difficult. Tape-ins with the adhesive usually require a spray, a special kind of spray um, in the salon that you would have to spray onto the hair, slip them out, and then wash it all properly. But the difference between this and a clip-in is you don't have to take it out every day. It's all up to you whether you want to wear it for that full six to eight weeks. I noticed there's like absolutely no shedding. I don't see any hair anywhere even coming straight out of the box. Before I really begin, I wanted to let you guys know if you do have any thoughts of getting these extensions, you can use my discount code JELLYFISH. It's in the description below along with all of the links. Obviously, they're linked to their website. <laughs> I am all over the place today. So I am a licensed professional hairstylist at a salon and I have clients and I do not perform uh, tape-in installation as one of my services, but I know how to put them in. The thing about these is obviously like it's really hard to put these in yourself and I had two co-workers who do it as a service so I asked them and one of them, Brooke, actually put these in my hair for me. So thank you Brooke. Um, it's getting hot in here. This adhesive is sticking well. That's one thing that could be wrong with extensions is, is if their adhesive is crappy it's just not going to stick well. Um, the other thing would be like if the hair just is bad quality, which VP Fashion, I already know their quality is wonderful, so I wasn't worried about that. It's all the same hair, it's just in different forms. So this is the 10th day of me wearing these. I have washed them 
three times. The reason I have washed them three times in only 10 days, which I usually never do, in fact, I never wash my hair, um, is because when you let those extensions get a bunch of oils on them and a bunch of like slippery products, they can actually fall out much faster. I have not experienced that yet, and in fact, I haven't lost any of my wefts yet. Nothing has slipped, nothing has moved out of place or uh, fallen out completely at all. All of the adhesive feels clean, like there's nothing sticky in my hair. Everything feels good. You can obviously tell my hair is um, straighter than the extensions, and that's the one thing. Like, I try to, if I sleep on my hair, um, it'll get a little bit more wave to it. If I scrunch it with something, it gets more wave. But today is just a lazy day for me and I haven't really styled it well. But, so if you open this up, I have, you know, I've got like, I think three here and then there's another layer and I, I don't know how many I have in my hair actually. VP Fashion has all the information on their page about these tape-ins. Um, so if you ever, are curious about things that I never talked about, they've got a lot on the website. Um, so typically these extensions are to be worn like six to eight weeks. I'm going to wear them that long, hopefully. I'll see how long I can last. So there's 40 pieces per pack. The total weight per pack is 100 grams. So I think I have about 250 grams in my hair. Um, so I actually have the 24 inch. Hey guys, I actually made a mistake in this video. I was actually sent two packs, and the hair is 20 inches, not 24. Um, the total weight of the hair that I have is 200 grams. There are two plastic boards per pack, so I got four boards, which is just two packs. Um, and for thin hair, one pack is just fine, but I did have two. I actually have a pack and a half in my hair right now, and I have not cut the length off. As you can see, the ends are still all there. It's pretty long. Lands about, you know, uh, sternum on me, so it, it's definitely what I would consider mermaid hair that covers your nipples. But th this is what they look like when they come completely not touched. They are actually silky straight, and uh, when they get wet, they get a little wavy if you don't dry them straight. If you just let them be, they'll be wavy like this. And I prefer that. I like the way it looks more. So I wear them wavy. And you peel these off like little stickers and it's sticky on that side. If you do want to just have like pops of color in your hair, but you don't want to bleach your hair or dye your real hair, pop in maybe two streaks of pink like you could buy the white blonde ones it feels really natural and when i tell my clients that my hair is actually above my shoulder and this is all fake hair i mean this all is not my real hair but it's human hair um they're like wait what like so where is your real hair and so today is a, a again a bad day like i mean my hair is pretty straight right now i do have a waiver tool to fix that if i really want it to look perfect i barely had to cut these either so all we really did was some facial framing like this one is shorter, some of these in the front are shorter, um, but generally there's no layers put into these extensions, and if you were to do that, you would take like scissors or shears and just slide cut them down, and I actually have other videos of me blending extensions, so I can uh, put that in the end of this video for sure. At first it is really, really weird trying to wash my hair with them because I'm like, ooh, how do I do this? But it gets so much easier. Don't freak out when you start trying because um, if you just like get the hang of it, your scalp will no longer be so tender. I have a very sensitive scalp, so I was kind of scared that I was going to have to you know, take them out if they hurt my head too much. I don't get headaches with these. With clip-ins I always get headaches because it's like a clip up against my scalp but these are so gentle and flexible that they don't feel like anything when I'm not touching my head and then when I do touch my head I don't feel any lumps the way I would with a clip-in either it's smooth and soft if someone touched my head they wouldn't even think that they feel tape-ins they are super duper comfortable I at first was having trouble sleeping in them only because they're so long and my boyfriend will like roll over and then my hair is stuck and I'm like oh my god but like that's a problem for anyone with long hair to have so I will tell you guys what I use on my hair because this stuff is really good 
So Absorber is the brand, and I will link them below. I'm actually going to make a video right after this about them. So um, this contains birdie oil. So birdie oil is a great ingredient because of its natural properties. It's high in oleic acid. It's great for adding a natural sheen to the hair. It's also rich in vitamin E and unsaturated fatty acids, which help rebuild, moisturize, and rehydrate the hair. This stuff is so, so good. Um, I just got their shampoo. And the thing is, like, even though I'm not that big on shampoo, I have to use shampoo with these extensions, or else they're just going to, like, fall out, probably. Um, and also, like, because I have so much tape against my scalp, it's really tough to, to like, you know, there, there's just more buildup going on in there, and I don't want, like, my scalp to be gross. Um, but this is an amino acid balancing shampoo. Super amazing. I actually, because it's really hard to just put it in my hand and then work it through my hair because I have so much tape in my hair, I open up my hair before I get in the shower and I squirt this in there a lot, like pretty much like four layers of sections and I just squirt like one squirt each area and then when I get in the shower I wet it a little bit and then I start you know, washing my hair with that just to make sure it's everywhere. And then when I use the deep mask, this is okay to put on your natural hair, but it's best for um, hair pieces, human hair pieces. So I kind of take my hair, I start from here, and I work it all the way down, and I just stay away from my scalp so that I don't get my tapins to fall out. It smells good, it smells like coconut is super moisturizing. It's really thick, so I mean a, a little bit goes a long way, but I do use a lot because these are long extensions. If you move the hair, if you put your hair up, you will see this tape if they are colored a different color, because you can obviously tell that this, this color does not match my roots. So what I actually did was I took a black Sharpie. I tried brown, but brown was too light. So um, I took a black Sharpie and colored the top of all of these, and I colored underneath. I had a friend color all the ones underneath, and I also wore my hair in pigtails, so I had someone color um, everything in the in-between zone this way, in the back. So it really does help. It's really hard to hide it if it's a different color. Also, if anyone's wondering what color I used, I used a mixture of Lunar Tides, all Lunar Tides, that's the brand, and then I had, I think it was Cerulean Sea, Smoky Teal mixed together, and then I smoked it out a little bit with like a little bit of Eclipse, which is their black, and um, a good amount of Silver Lining, which is their silver color. So that kind of just created like a smoky teal for me. But um, I needed a lot because this is so much hair to dye, so I just mixed it a bunch together and I also diluted it with some conditioner so that it was just a whole bunch of dye. Also, because my hair is way more porous than these extensions, these extensions just hold color better than my natural hair. So I dyed my hair actually a shade darker, it was just a little bit less diluted, um, and they faded perfectly to match this color by now so obviously I was right by doing that and if your hair fades really quickly I do recommend just dyeing it a little bit darker than your extensions so that they match once it fades a little. Um, there is this spray that you can get and I really don't know how VP Fashion recommends getting them taken out. I do know that if you just get a bunch of oil and a bunch of um, deep conditioner or whatever. You can put some conditioner on your hair. I recommend wetting it, like washing it, wetting it, put a bunch of like conditioner at your scalp, and then also have like hair oil. And then you can rub that all over your hair and kind of just like let it sit and they'll like, you know, pull them apart. You can take a rat tail comb and like wedge your tail in there and then like pull them out and they should slide right out over time um, but yeah just like especially make sure you like work the oils in there but if you don't want to have to do that you can go on Amazon you could go somewhere and just like get a tape in adhesive remover it's like a spray and you just spray it on each of them and they'll like slip right out eventually 
and then you just wash your hair as usual, wash the extensions. There's actually packs of replaceable tape and adhesive. So when you finally take out your extensions, take off the extension, like try to like rub it all off or peel it all off so that they're completely clean and not sticky. Wash them obviously and then when if, if and when you want to put them back in, you have new tapes that you apply and then you can put them in. So there is ways to re-wear these sets if you um, want to wear them again. So I am done talking about VP Fashion hair extensions. Um, if you guys are interested in any of my other videos, I am going to be posting a lot more now because I got a bunch of stuff at work out of the way and now I'm able to focus on my channel again. Feels good to be back. And uh, yeah, uh, don't forget about the discount code in the description below. If you like this video, like it. Uh, comment below if you have questions or concerns. and. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay epic. Bye.